Hello mga kaguro, this is Sir Jory, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Grammarly for Microsoft Office for free. For me, Grammarly is very important AI-powered grammar checker tool because human as we are, we sometimes make mistakes, especially in doing written works. As a teacher, I really appreciate the importance of Grammarly, especially in writing up my action research and innovation paper. It is really an effective material in writing a grammatically correct research paper and other school documents. Grammarly is my partner in making my teaching related written output, especially during the time when we have our school and service training. And as a student in my master's degree, Grammarly is my number one partner in making a written output. So what is Grammarly? Grammarly is an online grammar checker tool that also covers style, tone, and clarity. The Grammarly check will notice formal grammar issue as well as excessive passive voice, poor phrasing, word sentences, and more. It provides real-time suggestions to improve your text and works across different platforms. And there are four important reasons why use Grammarly. First, because Grammarly highlights your mistakes and shows you how to correct them. We all make careless mistakes sometimes and it can be difficult to find out our own mistakes. And Grammarly is an excellent tool for these kinds of mistakes. Extra spaces, missing articles, verb tense agreement errors, spelling, punctuation, and more are highlighted for you to check and correct at the click of a button. Grammarly helps you improve your vocabulary. One thing I love about Grammarly is that it is based on you and your writing. Not only does it let you know if you are overusing a particular word, but it also highlights words that are overused in general. And number three, Grammarly gives you a mini grammar lessons. When Grammarly highlights a possible mistake, uh, you will also have a corresponding alert to the right of your writing. And each alert contains an explanation of the grammar with helpful examples. And lastly, Grammarly is easy to use. Because right after installing Grammarly, the application itself will automatically detect the errors present on your documents and will provide you helpful suggestions. And the thing is, Grammarly can be installed only in three simple steps. First, you have to sign up in uh, Grammarly.com, sign up your Grammarly account, then right after signing up, you can go ahead and download your uh, Grammarly um, that works in Microsoft. And then all you have to do is to run the Grammarly in your Microsoft Office Word. And then you can start finding errors. Alright, so we already done. And here the meaning of Grammarly and the important reasons why we need to use this one. And now let's proceed to the one-on-one -on -one, uh, walkthrough on how we will go and install this one in our laptop or computer. Okay, so we have to minimize this one. And in your laptop, you have to make sure you have internet connection. Okay, because we will be downloading a Grammarly that works in Microsoft Word okay and we have to download that one using our search engine uh, it, you can use uh, google chrome uh, microsoft edge internet explorer mozilla firefox opera mini whatever uh, search engine you have in your computer or laptop and this time i will be using my google chrome and all we have to do first is to sign up with our uh, Google account or Facebook account 
okay so this in this first option we have to type sign up um anyway we have here are uh, three options on how we will be able to sign up an account here in grammarly first we can sign up using our google account second our facebook account and third you can also sign up with your apple account and right at this time i will be signing up for free using my google account and here's my google account and let's wait for a moment all right so grammarly is now um, determining or detecting my google account and now letting me in for free okay already signed up here in uh, the grammarly website so we have to type now grammarly for microsoft office okay so we have to scroll all the way down going to grammarly for microsoft office and i believe it's here all right so if you can see right here grammarly for ms office and then what we're going to do is to top this button that has a message get the add-in it's free but we have to wait until grammarly uh, website uh, completely loads because it's showing up here on top that it's still loading okay so i believe it's now complete and now let's proceed to the setup page okay and the add-in um, extension will be downloaded okay and this one we have to click this first and this is what i did tell you um a while ago so this is the page for a grammarly for microsoft stat, uh, setup and we have to click get started and then there's two option right here uh, in installing grammarly you can install this one in your microsoft word or microsoft outlook you can check both and right at this time i will be installing only grammarly for microsoft word because i'm now using grammarly for outlook so hit install and wait for three to five minutes again until it will be successfully installed and it says right here congratulations you've installed grammarly to launch grammarly open your microsoft word if word is already open restart it to activate grammarly and let's tap finish okay and let's refresh our laptop or computer and then if you're going to open your microsoft word app you will go to see here the function of grammarly right here on the upper right corner of your microsoft word okay you can see right here now open grammarly so we're going to check and find error in our document so let's open a document here and let's find some errors okay um let's open this kind of document that we have here and let's wait until grammarly here will automatically or completely load okay and if it's already green it means it's now ready to check our document and we're ready to find errors okay so let's um try this part in our um, context and rational let's tap open grammarly and tap here uh, after we tap open grammarly we have to wait for another uh, two to three minutes while grammarly is now detecting your document okay just bear with me uh, continue to watch my akaguro and right after two to three minutes and then still uh, grammarly function is not working yet we have we need to close this one and we have to open it again okay it's showing right here at the bottom the message checking it means grammarly is now 
uh, up and going and checking our documents and trying to determine some errors uh, we have to wait until we see another message that we're going to show up here in this screen or in this part okay well grammarly is still determining our document and checking some um, grammatical errors you can go ahead and refresh your screen okay and make sure you have a stable internet connection because uh, the speed of uh, your Grammarly app depends also in your internet speed okay let's check it right now it doesn't found any error Upon checking it right now as we scroll it down you can see some words that has a red underline it means these are the words that uh, Grammarly found to have an error okay we have to click this one all right if Grammarly still doesn't show an option here or suggestions here you can try to close it again and try to open this one okay so it's now working and if we're going to check here grammarly already identified some problem here in our uh, screen there are two um suggestions here on we have to remove n okay it seems that there is an n article usage problem here so the suggestion is to remove the article n okay and there's a space right here i believe that's we need to remove let's find extra errors here all right let's try this one if your grammarly still did not did not um show any suggestions here you can still close this one and try to open it again all right so it it did find an error it appears that 21st century is missing a hyphen consider adding hyphen okay let's try to add hyphen if that is your suggestion so we're going to carry it okay it's not um automatically showing the suggestions here because i think that my um internet speed is not that good right now so let's try to close and open this one and it says right here that it must be changed to past tense okay let's add letter d here all right mga kaguro this is really simple and this is how it works so after you have successfully installed um grammarly to for microsoft you will find this one right here on the upper right corner and you need to make sure you have a stable internet connection and then all you have to do is to tap open or you can tap close if you wanted to to check uh, the errors here tap only open grammarly and then grammarly will go and detect some errors in your um document okay so i believe you have already understand um, what we have done and you have already the idea so thank you so much for dropping by here in my channel this is sir jory again don't think your problem is a burden but rather think that problem is a challenge have a great day thank you so much god bless and keep safe.